I'm gonna tell you five lessons that YouTubers learn too late and because of it, it can cost them their YouTube career or their channels or whatever. And we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so I've been on YouTube since 2014 and during that time I've seen a lot of people come and a lot of people go and the reason for that is because they learned the lessons that I'm getting ready to share with you too late. And with all of the work that you're putting into your YouTube channel right now, you don't want that to happen to you, do you? Of of course not. So to give yourself the best chance here, make sure that you watch this entire video. The very first lesson that YouTubers learn too late is that burnout is a real thing. We're all wanting to upload so much. We're just wanting to put out content, put out content, put out content because we love making videos. We're video creators. It's what we do. But even when results are going well and momentum is going on in the channel and views are coming in and people are like, hey, I'm loving your stuff. Burnout will suck the life out of you and it'll make it to where you're going to start making the decision on, you know what? because this is causing me stress in some kind, because I'm just putting everything into it, because this is causing me stress of some kind, I'm actually just gonna do something else today instead of uploading a video. And then what happens is you start doing that on a regular basis because you're just burned out. You just can't take it anymore. And then next thing you know, you're just not uploading content anymore. Or you start getting extremely negative about the whole thing. Like people in your comments, you're attacking them. And when people are reaching out to you on social media, you're attacking them. And ultimately everything just starts to suck because all of that pressure that you're feeling to make Make sure that, hey, you know, I'm uploading, I'm uploading, I'm uploading. It can, it can really make things difficult. I went through burnout myself on another channel, even though I was warned, hey, Nick, pace yourself. Only put out videos at a rate that you can handle. And I didn't do it. And that's what I'm telling you right now. Listen to what I'm telling you right now. Put out content at a pace that you can handle. Pace yourself. YouTube is a long game. You don't have to put out content every day. If you want to, that's cool. But just keep in mind, if you are mixing YouTube with everything else that you're doing in your life, putting out content every day can be a big stressor. And I didn't do it and I burned out. So listen to what I'm telling you right now. Pace yourself. It's worth it in the long run if you can pace yourself because it's going to be a much more enjoyable experience for you. And another thing to keep in mind is this. A lot of people are gung-ho, which is awesome. I love to see people going for it, but they're just uploading videos like crazy. But because they're uploading videos like crazy, they're taking away from their time to learn the skills necessary in order to keep people watching, in order to engage or nurture a community, in order to make thumbnails that people click on. They're missing the time time to actually learn how to do it all better. And because of that, their videos suffer, which basically means that they're putting out content that nobody's responding to. And if nobody's responding to that content, then YouTube isn't gonna promote it, which is gonna make the whole thing even worse because you're grinding so hard and it's not working because you're not dedicating time to actually developing the skills that you need in order to really make it work to your benefit. So pace yourself. Next up is that content trumps everything. So I have people that'll hit me up and they'll be like, hey Nick, this channel over here, they're not doing any of the SEO stuff that you talk about, but they're still getting tons of views. What's going on? First, you don't have to do SEO on YouTube, but if you do, you're giving yourself the opportunity to tap into an additional traffic source, which is the smart thing to do. But the reason that those channels do well is because people are responding to their content. Even though they're not doing all the best practice stuff, people still dig the content. And at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. And look, just because I might not like someone's content or I might not understand why somebody else would like somebody's content doesn't mean that they're in those places because people don't like their content. It means that the algorithm is promoting them more to people because people are responding to their content. Content trumps everything and the audience that YouTube is showing their videos to, that audience loves what it is that they're doing and that's how they're succeeding even if they're breaking the best practice rules. Next up on the lessons that YouTubers learn too late is that it is extremely beneficial for you to niche down on the content that you're creating or make one type of content on your channel. This is another one for people that make content that for whatever reason people really respond to, they can go outside of this one, but for almost everybody, Focusing your content 
can make a world of difference on the results that you're getting on your channel. Here's why. When you're making a bunch of random content on your channel and people are subscribing from all of these different videos for random content, what's gonna happen is when you publish a video, then people that subscribe for one type of content, well, they're not necessarily gonna care about this other type of content. And because of it, the people that YouTube is showing your videos to, the people that are actually subscribed to your channel, they're not clicking on it on your homepage, they're not clicking on it over in the suggested sidebars, they're not clicking on it when it comes in their email notifications or whatever, they are not responding to that content, which tells YouTube, hey, this isn't that good of content. And because of that, the content gets buried and the creators think, why isn't this working for me? I put in all of this effort, I put in all this time, but no matter what I do, it's just not working for me. The reason for that is because it's important for you to focus in because it can make the difference on you getting results here on YouTube or not. The next lesson that a lot of content creators make when they're on YouTube is they don't plan for the future. They either want to go full time or they want new gear or equipment or something like that, but they're putting out all of this money into YouTube in order to try to make everything as good as possible, but they're not getting anything back in terms of anything to compensate for the money that they're putting out. Because of that, depending on you know the type of income that they have off of YouTube, if a camera breaks, they might not be able to replace it. If a computer breaks where they edit their stuff, they might not be able to replace that either. So it's important to make sure that you find a way to monetize your content. Even if it's a few bucks coming in here and there and you save that money for a rainy day, hey, when my camera goes down, this is the stuff that I'm gonna use in order to get myself a new camera. If you start putting just here and there, a little bit of money here and there away, then when you need to get new stuff, you can, and then that can help you continue to create content for a really long time. And I know that some people do this as a hobby, some people do this professionally, it just kind of depends on, you know, what it is that they're into. But regardless, even if you're doing it as a hobby on YouTube, you have the opportunity to at least, at the very least, make your hobby pay for itself, which is a pretty cool thing. But that lesson is just not monetizing, right? Like there's some creators that are like, hey, I got all these views and I didn't monetize and all that. Well, that's great if you have other income coming in to where you don't have to. But for a lot of people that are wanting to go full time or that they're wanting to level up their gear or maybe go to a conference or something like that, finding a way from your YouTube channel that you can generate at least a little bit of money a month from it can really make a big difference on how long you're gonna be able to be on YouTube. The next lesson that YouTubers learn too late is they don't develop the skills that they need in order to make this stuff work for them. Look, YouTube is not easy. When you are first starting out, there's a huge learning curve on YouTube in order to kind of get the ball rolling. So there's skills that you need to develop. And I actually put a video together that you can watch right up here that shares with you the most important skills skills that all YouTubers need to learn. You can go ahead and check that out right now. But it talks about money management, it talks about design, talks about editing, talks about presentation and stuff like that. But, you know, not learning these skills is a big lesson learned for a lot of YouTubers because they just upload videos and they expect things to work, but it just doesn't work that way. And if you've been on YouTube for any amount of time and you have a lesson that you would like to share, let us know down in the comments for anybody else that might watch this video. And to learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.